Vanessa joined under the EU AV program in September 2019. She came through the qualified volunteer program of the EU aid volunteer program and she was attached to our rural project called Chikova Primary School. We had this training before coming and we were told not to expect anything so you are the most open and I agreed with that and since I didn't know much about deep African culture it was like okay I got to learn so I don't know what I'm gonna find. She's been staying with a local host family and she's been considered as a local daughter Ababa <laughs> Naiva no simani bwe bana kola na bana bana bwe kubanga ba jabba ke sorungere zavada ba some sabuli kasera. During her service, there was uh, the unprecedented outbreak of the coronavirus. A few hours after the presidential address to the nation, Vanessa was locked up in the village in Chikova community because there was no public transport, no private cars that could move for three months and we could only talk via phone calls. You would book for a time to talk to her because the network is very poor. Since it was not allowed to be more than three people together, and we couldn't do the meetings, I couldn't do workshops, I couldn't play with the kids, I couldn't do activities with anybody. So it was more of beating the snake, as Uganda says. Naiye Orokubanga Mwana Murungi Mumaririvu, Yamusange no Netutura na ye, netukola gana burungi. We are in the office of the school, which is also the teacher's office, and now the library. That's one of the coming out from the corona as the school stopped. No teachers, no children. Oh, what, I, what do I do now here all the time? So I just clean up all the room, I paint it again, and I make a library with some books that they had somewhere hidden and nobody was using and producing some new materials for the teachers to promote reading. The village had a problem of water issues. The community had spent seven months without water. They were fetching water from long distances. The borehole, which had the mechanical problems, was renovated. It is serving both the community and the school too. They wrote me from my NGO, you have a flight ticket, in two days you come back. And I was like, I cannot just go in two days and just leave everybody behind with everything open. And this would be really leaving them aside, like everything we had started, now everything thrown through the window. Or... All the 100 sponsored children on Mondo Education Program are on a health insurance and it's the first of its kind. And the school has been also brought to board to understand how it works and how it can support our vulnerable children from the vulnerable households. And so many things. Our women have market and they have been to a couple of trainings in Kampala, in the upcountry areas. So they know how they can also improve their incomes on a household level through hands-on, when they are making the handcrafts and all that and the other. He sent a precious son to Mondo because he has, the, he has sent a very active red. She has been easy for the, everyone and also we are going to miss her a lot. If I could resume my year in one word, it would be love. And it's been love just because I, I was open to them and not scared. And this is what I have received from them. That, oh, they're whites. When they come, they are scared to talk to anybody. Well, talk to anybody, young, old, children. They are so happy to talk uh, and to, even if it's just two words, but uh, that just opens the, every door. One, two, three.